Hi, this is Corey with EMF Solutions. We're here today to show you guys how to install a commander box on an electric meter or smart meter that doesn't have the pipe coming to or from it. So if you can't find the pipe from uh, solar panels or to and from your uh, electric meter, then we have another option for you how to install these, okay? The first thing you want to do is get the right materials, okay? One quarter inch drill bit is the, is the first of two things that you're going to want. Uh, ideally, you get one that's meant for block or brick because we're probably going to be drilling into stucco, depending on what your home's made of. The second thing you want is a quarter inch by one inch nail drive anchor, okay? Uh, what we're using is, just from Home Depot, a quarter inch by one inch uh, nail drive anchor. And what this is, this is the type of thing that when you're in the house, it goes into the wall and when the, the nail of the screw goes in, it opens up uh, so that it's securing it into the wall real well, okay? That's what that is. Uh, now, the first step, of course, you're gonna to wanna to drill and either a hammer or a screw to, to get the process done. Now, the first step is to take this clamp off because we're not using it for pipes. So you kind of unscrew that and then you just take that clamp right off. You can see the plate side. Now, it's real important that this plate side is always gonna face the pipe or in this case, the smart meter itself. So if your smart meter has a big enough ledge on top Sometimes you can take this clamp side, put it upside down so clamp side touches the metal or faces the metal, and you can literally just sit it there. Um, the screw is just to make sure wind doesn't blow it away or somebody doesn't steal it off your home. Um, today, we're going we're gonna to put it right on the side. Again, clamp side facing the meter. Uh, you want it to touch the metal that surrounds the smart meter or, or electric meter, or you want it very close to touching. Either one's fine. So... What you do first is you take a pen, you find out where you're going to put the meter, and you're going to take a pen and you're going to mark the hole where you're going to drill. Second, you're going to take your quarter inch drill bit, okay, and you're going to take that hole and you're going to make that quarter inch drill hole, and then you're going to take the nail anchor that we have, or if you decide to get one that has a screw, that's okay. And you're gonna take it right through the top hole. Again, making sure that the clamp side faces the meter. You drop it in the hole, and in this case, we're gonna tap that nail in uh, a couple of times, and that's it, it's as simple as that. If you do have a screw, obviously you're gonna screw it in with a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, if this is a good reminder, if you have solar panels, if, you, if you're at power lines very close to your house, especially big ones, if you have a cell tower that's within a half a block of your house, these are all signs that you have extra EMF uh, issues. You're gonna want two commander boxes and you don't wanna put them on opposite sides of a pipe or opposite side of a, sides of a smart meter. Instead, you're gonna wanna put them on the same side, both facing the correct direction, okay? That's a very important little reminder to everybody because if you're gonna wanna make your house perfect, that's how you do it. So that's it, thank you guys.